Sunday, November the 8th, 1964, Fairground Stadium. For the second consecutive year, Mayo had clinched the city championship, leaving Flagey and St. X to battle for second place in a game rated as a virtual toss-up. St. X, with a record of 6-2, was favored in the game by the majority of city coaches and by the Lipkin House, which rated the Tigers as the state's third best team. Flagey at 8-1 was ranked fourth by the Lipkin House. In a Courier-Journal poll of city coaches, Gil Sturzel of the Sales gave the nod to Flagey, while Trinity coach Paulie Miller called it a toss-up. The remainder of the city coaches, including Bishop Davis, Denny Nash, and Mayo's Charlie Coon, predicted a St. X win. Flagey's defense was his strong point, as the Braves were allowing less than five points a game. The Tigers were more offensive-minded and boasted one of the best athletes ever to play football in Kentucky, senior Dickie Lyons. An unusual aspect of this game was the fact that both teams used two quarterbacks. Lynn Mackin and Oscar Brown alternated for Flagge, while Dickie Lyons and Steve Bacco shared quarterbacking duties for St. X. This game marked the series debut of Flagge coach Jim Kennedy. Kennedy, who would follow Paulie Miller to Trinity a year later, faced veteran St. X coach Johnny Myhas, who was responsible for all but one of St. X's six victories in the series to that point. 13,500 fans were in attendance for this classic game on a bright, sunny Sunday afternoon. Captains for St. X are David Patrick and Dickie Lyons. For Fly J, Bill Jansen and John McReynolds. The kickoff is taken by Dickie Lyons at the St. X 6 and returned 19 yards to the St. X 25. First and 10 at the St. X 25. Dickie Lyons for no gain. There's a penalty on St. X. First and 15. Dickie Lyons keeps for five yards, tackled by Mike Mattingly. Second and 10. Dickie Lyons to three yards, tackled by Harold Joyce. Third and seven at the San X 27. Dickie Lyons for seven yards and a first down, tackled by Mike Potter and Jim Mitchell. First and 10. I have a glass for two yards, tackled by Herman and Vaughn. Second and eight at the 37. Dickie Lyons pass to Steve Bacco for 14 yards, tackled by Lynn Mackin. First and 10. David Brown for no gain, tackled by Harold Joyce. Second and 10 at the Flash J49. Dickie Lyons for three yards, tackled by Herman Vaughn. Second and seven at the Flash J46. Dickie Lyons' pass is incomplete. It's fourth and seven at the Flagge 46. Dickie Lyons punt covers 36 yards and is down at the Flagge 10. First and 10 Flagge at the Flagge 10 yard line. John McReynolds for three yards. Second and seven at the 13. McReynolds for four yards, tackled by Frank Burke. Third and three at the 17. Lynn Mackin's pass is complete to Harold Joyce for 83 yards in the touchdown. The drive covers 90 yards in three plays, and the score is Fly J6, St. X0. The extra point is no good. The score remains Fly J6, St. X0. Kickoff was taken at the St. X22 and returned by David Brown to the St. X33. There's a penalty on St. X, which will put the ball at the St. X17. First and 10. Dickie Lyons with four yards, tackled by Herman Vaughn and Jim Mitchell, second and six. 
Dickey Lyons to three yards, tackle by Herman Vaughn. There's a penalty on St. X. Second and 11. Dickey Lyons passes 28 yards to Steve Bacco, tackled by Fred Reese. First and 10 at the St. X 44. Ira Grass for six yards, tackled by Bill Jensen. Second and four at the 50. Dickey Lyons for seven yards. It'll be first and 10 at the Flag J 43. Ira Grass for six yards, second and four at the 37. Dickey Lions for three yards, tackled by Dave Bratcher and Mike Potter. Third and one at the 34. Ira Glass for a yard, tackled by Bill Jansen. It's fourth and in inches. Ira Glass for three yards and the first down, tackled by Herman Vaughn and Bill Jansen. First and 10 at the 30. Dickey Lions for four yards, tackled by Mike Potter. Second and six at the 26. Reverse, Lions to Baco to Glass, gains seven yards, tackled by Bill Jansen. First and 10 at the Fly J19. Dickey Lions loses eight yards, tackled by Herman Vaughn. And that's the end of the first quarter with the score, Fly J6, Saint X0, second and 18 at the Fly J27. Dickey Lyons pass intended for Ira Glass is intercepted by Lynn Mackett at the Flag J 14 and returns seven yards. Tackled by Steve Beth and Richard Klein. First and 10 at the Flag J 21. Jim Mitchell for one yard. Tackled by Cal Pfeiffer. Second and nine at the 22. Jim Mitchell fumbles and is recovered by Bob Zola for 10 yard gain. Tackle Cal Pfeiffer. First and 10 at the 32. Lynn Mackett pitches the ball to John McReynolds. The ball goes out of bounds at the 32. Second and 10 at the Flag J 32. Mike Wright for two yards, tackled by Cal Pfeiffer and Tom Boone, third and eight at the 34. Oscar Brown's pass is deflected by David Brown, fourth and eight at the 34. Len Mackin's kick is taken by Lyons at the Senex 34 and returned five yards. It's a penalty on Flage. And fourth and 13 at the 29. Mackin's kick is taken by Lyons at the St. X 30 and returned for six yards. Tackled by Bill Jensen and Fred Reese. It's a penalty on St. X, puts the ball at the St. X 21. First and 25. Ira Glass for three yards. Second and 22 at the 24. Steve Bacco's pass to Dickey Lyons is incomplete. Third and 22 at the 24. Al Bourne for nine yards, tackled by Jim Gray. Fourth and 11 at the 33. Dickey Lyon punched to John McReynolds at the Flag 18. He returns two yards, tackled by Bob James. 746 left in the half, it's first and 10 at the Flag 20. John McReynolds for one yard, second and nine at the 21. Oscar Brom for one yard, tackled by Steve Bacco and Roger Visman. Third and eight at the 22. Oscar Brom's pass is broken up by Dickey Lyons. Fourth and eight at the 22. Lynn Mackin's punt is taken by Dickey Lyons at the X 37 and returned 13 yards. Tackled by Richard Sands. First and 10 at the Flag J 49. Dickey Lyons for four yards, tackled by John Malloy. Second and six at the 45. Ira Glass for one yard, tackled by Mike Potter. Third and five at the 44. David Brown for six yards, tackled by Jim Mitchell. First and 10 at the 38. Dickey Lyons passes 16 yards to David Brown. First and 10 at the 22. 
Kentucky Lions passes 12 yards to Bob James, tackled by Bill Jensen. First and goal at the 10. Kentucky Lions pass is deflected by Ira Glass and incomplete. Second goal of the 10. Kentucky Lions for no gain, tackle John McReynolds and Herman Vaughn. Third and goal at the 10. Lions pass is deflected and intercepted in the end zone by Lynn Mackin. First and 10, Flagey at the Flagey 20. John McReynolds for one yard, tackle Frank Diebold. 146 left in the half, second and nine. Jim Mitchell for one yard, third and eight at the 22. Oscar Brahm loses one yard, tackle Roger Visman. Fourth and nine at the 21. Lynn Mackin's punt goes out of bounds at the Flagey 35. 56 seconds remaining in the first half. First and 10, St. X at the Flagey 35. Dickey Lyons pass is intercepted by Wally Vertries at the Flagey 46. He returns at 12 yards. First and 10 at the Flagey 36. Fred Reese for five yards. Tackled by Frank Diebold. There's a penalty on Flagey. First and 20 at the Flagey 26. Lynn Mackin for two yards. Second and 18 at the 28. Lynn Mackin for three yards, tackle Cal Pfeiffer and Rick Feeney. Third and 15 at the 31. Lynn Mackin keeps for nine yards, tackle Jack Lamont and Cal Pfeiffer. Fourth and four at the 40. Lynn Mackin loses five yards, tackle Bob James. And that's the end of the first half with the score, Flag A6, San X zero. The next kickoff is taken by Fred Reese, who steps out of bounds at the 15. First and 10 at the Plage 15. David Bradshaw for two yards, tackled by Steve Bacco. Second and eight at the 17. McReynolds for no gain, tackled by Bob James. Third and eight at the 17. Rom passes to Reese for eight yards, tackled Bacco and Dickey Lyons. First and 10 at the 25. John McReynolds for five yards. Second and five at the 30. Fred Reese for three yards, tackled by Frank Diebold. Third and two at the 33. Jim Gray loses six yards, tackled by Ira Glass and Frank Diebold. Fourth and eight at the 27. Lynn Mackin's punt is taken at the St. X 37 by Dickey Lyons and returned four yards. Tackled by Bill Jansen. First and 10 at the St. X 41. Lyons for four yards, tackled by Jim Mitchell. Second and six at the 45. Lyons for three yards, tackled by Jim Mitchell. Third and three at the 48. Ira Glass for three yards, tackled by Joyce, Mike Potter, and Herman Vaughn. First and 10 at the Plage 49. Steve Bacco loses four yards, tackled by Harold Joyce. Second and 14 at the St. X 46. Dickey Lyons for no gain, tackled by Jim Mitchell. Third and 14 at the St. X 46. Steve Bacco's pass is incomplete. Fourth and 14 at the St. X 46. Lions punts from 45 yards to Fred Reese at the Flag A9. He loses four yards. First and 10 at the Flag A5. Brown for two yards, tackled by David Brown. 
409 remain in the third quarter. Second and eight at the Flyer J7. McReynolds for 10 yards. Tackled by David Brown. First and 10 at the 17. Tim Lehay for seven yards. Tackle Frank Debold. Penalty on Flage. First and 15 at the 12. Frank Lehay for no gain. Tackle by T Bob James. Second and 15 at the 12. Oscar Brown for no gain. Tackle by Roger Wiesman. Third and 15. Oscar Brown passes 71 yards to Bill Jensen. Tackled by Donnie Vesa at the St. X 17. First and 10 at the St. X 17. Fred Reese loses six yards. Second and 16 at the 23. Brown passes complete for 11 yards. Third and one at the St. X eight. Brown sneaks for the first down. First and goal at the St. X seven. Brown's pass is incomplete. That's the end of the third quarter with the score of Flash A6, St. X zero. Second and goal from the St. X seven. Brown passes seven yards to Harold Joyce for the touchdown. The score now, Flash A12, St. X zero. John Heintzman's kick is good. Score, Flagey 13, San X 0. John Heintzman's kickoff is taken by Dickie Lyons at the Flagey 15, and he returns 13 yards to the San X 38. First and 10 at the San X 38. Jack Brooks now at quarterback for the injured Steve Bacco. Ira Glass for six yards, tackled by Jim Mitchell. Second and four at the 44. Jack Cook keeps for six yards. Tackle by Pete Mattingly. First and 10 at the 50. Jack Brooks laterals to Donnie Vies, who passes for 12 yards to Ira Glass. First and 10 at the Flagey 38. Jack Brooks recovers his own fumble and is tackled by Jim Mitchell for a two-yard loss. Second and 12 at the Flagey 40. Dickie Lyons for 12 yards in the first down. Tackled by Harold Joyce. First and 10 at the 28. Lyons for five yards. Tackled by David Bratcher. Second and five at the 23. Jack Brooks for six yards, tackled by Mike Mattingly. First and 10 at the 17. Ira Glass loses two yards, tackled by Fred Reese. Second and 12 with Flagey 19. Dickie Lyons is hit by Herman Vaughn. He fumbles and the ball is recovered by Jack Brooks for a five yard loss. Third and 17 from Flagey 23. Jack Brooks for 11 yards. Fourth and five from the Fly J12. Jack Brooks passes incomplete and Fly J takes over on downs. First and 10 at the Fly J12. Promise pass intended for Joyce is broken up by Ira Glass. 6-14 remains in the game. Second and 10 at the Fly J12. Fred Reese for seven yards. Third and three at the Flagey 19. Brom keeps for no gain, tackled by Bob James. Fourth and three at the 19. Lynn Mackin's punt is taken by Lyons at the St. X 43. And he returns for a loss of two yards. First and 10 of the Cenex 41. Lions passes 18 yards to Jack Brooks. First and 10 at the Flyer J 41. 
Lions passes for 15 yards to Bob James, tackled by Harold Joyce. First and 10 at the Flagey 46. Lions is run out of bounds by Harold Joyce after a gain of seven yards. Second and three at the Flagey 19. Lions for 16 yards, tackled by Jim Mitchell. First and goal with the Flagey 3. Donnie White for three yards of the touchdown. The score now, Flagey 13, St. X 6. Lions extra point attempt is good. The score, Flagey 13, St. X 7. 302 remain in the game. The onside kick. Was taken at the Flagey 46 by David Huglin and run back to the Sanex 44, but a penalty in Flagey will negate the play. The second kick is taken at the 6 by McReynolds and run back 20 yards, tackled by Jack Lamont. There's another penalty on Flagey, which results in another kick, this time at the 50. The onside kick is taken by Pete Mattingly and returned to the Flagey 38. First and 10 at the Flagey 38. Fred Reese for six yards, tackled by Frank Diebold. Second and four at the 44. Fred Reese for two yards. Third and two at the Flagey 46. Jim Gray for six yards, tackled by Ira Glass. First and 10 at the Cenex 48. Oscar Brahm on an apparent broken play, moves to seven yards, but it's a face mask penalty on Cenex. Tackle by Jim Coleman, 15 yard penalty on St. X, first and 10 at the St. X 38. Lynn Mack and the quarterback keeps the ball for 13 yards. Tackle by Dickie Lyons, first and 10 at the St. X 25. Mack and again for six yards. Tackle by Jim Coleman and Jack Brooks. 17 seconds left in the game. Second and four at the St. X 19. Mack and Keeps installs the clock. Four seconds remain in the game. Final score, Flagey 13, St. X 7.